hundreds of photos will take you back to the 80s when Donald Trump was just an emerging name in pop culture. Hall of Famers like Steve Young, Reggie White, and Jim Kelly all got their start in the USFL. Order your Silver Anniversary magazine at usflonline.com. Hello, everybody. Hello, we're back. So, um, that was Sia, and she that's a really good song by her. Um, what is it called? Cheap Thrills. It's a it's pretty new. It's per, yeah, pretty new. It's a I really like it. Um, some fun facts about Sia. She is was born in Australia, but also she is forty years old, and she whenever she performs, she never really shows her face. But but um yeah, on Sesame Street the other day, she made an appearance. Um, Sesame she had a clown Street. nose on, but, but she it's still showed the first her time face. that she showed her eyes in like a r- couple years, mm. I would say. She usually either performs like standing like backwards in a corner, in, or in a corner, yes. or like with something <laughs> covering most of her face. Yeah, like, like this. I think that's kind of cool. Hello. I feel like that's an art scene. Yeah, she said that. She's, she's like, thing. I've seen a lot of interviews with her, and she's like, I don't want, I don't want people. <laughs> she's like, I don't want people to. Um, you know, like judge me like on wh- how I look. I'm gonna be able to judge me on the music I make. So that's yeah, a good and point. she told Ellen that like it's it's Ellen. like um identity protection kind of thing. Like oh, if yeah. she wants to go to like the grocery store yeah. and grab some milk, yeah, uh, but that's I don't, a good idea. no one will recognize her. But I feel her. like I've I've seen pictures of her with her face before yeah, this whole too. thing. It's just like, <laughs> but sh- she's not really someone that you would like see and be like, oh my god, that's Sia. It's like you don't really. She's I feel like I like, would notice. I'll, I'll sh- give you a visual. Like in in a way. No, I don't think so. I. The little picture's not loading, but you know, if you look her up, um, you can't, you can't, they can't see if they're listening, if not yeah, watching. Then you can see. <laughs> um, anyway, okay, and so in other news, um, <laughs> there's a whole Kim Kardashian scandal oh. on Twitter. So actually, yeah, just a lot of her tweets lately have just been, in my opinion, just extremely unnecessary, very extra. Um, so she posted. Um, I think it was two photos or she just posted nude photos of herself, um, on Twitter. And yeah, one of the captions was like, when you have nothing to wear. So haha, very funny. Like whatever. Let's not pretend that you don't have anything to wear when you have like more than 90% of the country's wealth. But anyways, so there's this, there's this uh, account on Twitter who decided to defend her and say why she was a legitimate feminist role model worthy of admiration. So I'm just going to read you some of this girl's tweets in defense of Kim Kardashian. So she says, there are two kinds of feminist role models, the kind who are against the system and the kind who subvert the system. So a lot of women look down their noses at Kim because she seems regressive and it seems like she made her billions making women look bad, which I would sort of agree with. But she also says that she's like saying that means that you're letting the patriarchy rule you which means that you are like letting people's views men's views of you rule you so you should be able to post nude photos of yourself and not have anyone say anything about it but which, i don't i mean think that's right for anyone there are two sides to it you could see both ways i sort of see the way that most people would thinking you don't need to post nude photos of yourself yeah you, for any reason yeah you can you know get people to like you you for other reasons maybe your intellect or um you know just your your smarts your niceness just do something maybe you should donate some of that money kim um (laughs) hit them up hit up the charities Um. and yeah so that's basically it that's the whole scandal um it's the number one trending thing on twitter right now though so that's it's pretty and it's they're, pretty they're pretty also what's saying what's going on today, basically. They're saying that like her plastic surgery is just like not good, whatever. It's against feminist, whatever. But hmm. and then People someone's saying that she can do what she wants. So that's a whole. It's a whole. Uh, do what you a whole want. Whole ordeal. <laughs> whole ordeal. Um. Well. So today being, um, what International Women's Day? Rock on. Um. And National Pancake Day. Yes. By the way. Wow. I I I. I w- I thought National Pancake Day already happened, but speaking I think it happens every week. Yes. <laughs> speaking of uh, women in music, uh, the most listened to female artists on Spotify globally are number one, Rihanna, Ariana Grande, Beyonce, Ellie Goulding, Katy Perry, Lana Del Rey, Sia, Adele, Selena Gomez, and Megan Trainor. So that's some list. Um, these are, you know, speaking of inspirational female artists, what are your guys' favorite? female artists that you or or i guess role models in society start with ian minus myself no i'm just kidding Uh, um my all-time favorite person (laughs) in the world 
is Lady Gaga. <laughs> if you know me, you know yes. that. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. Well, um, I don't know who mine would be. I think my favorite, like, powerful women aren't really artists. I like uh, Emma Watson and Cara Delevingne. But for artists, probably... Um, who did I say before? I do like Ellie Goulding, but yeah, she's okay. I'm not sure how empowering she is i do i really She's enjoy kind of I, I i enjoy rihanna uh i think i enjoy i rihanna. i do i think i like i like i love rihanna um i'm definitely also gonna agree with ian on lady gaga she's definitely slaying the game of you know life <laughs> 2016 yeah this, she, is the year. this is the year of the gaga, year of gaga. i do gaga. believe that she I don't know. She was chilling for a while. She was rocking out. You know, she had some great albums. Then she was chilling. She was on American Horror Story. Lady. And now this girly is going to be off the charts. She's just doing great stuff. A lot's happening. Yes, a lot is happening. She was, what was it, the Oscars? Was that last week or two weeks ago? Oh, uh, yeah, last week. Well, beautiful performance, everything, really stepping up the game. Um, but also, I'm going to throw in Demi Lovato. Shout out, love her. Um, who else? Ellen is cool, even though she's not an artist. She's she's just like does so much for like people in need, you know. She just gives them. She's yeah. so nice, and mm-hmm. she's so funny. She, I enjoy I'm, Ellen as well. Um, I love Lana Del Rey. Yeah, yeah. Um, big fan. Fan, I like her. Um, who else is there? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? There's so many. I'm a big Adele, fan obviously. We just Nicki said Minaj. Adele. Oh, I mean, yeah, Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Her music yes. is- Mm-hmm. Yes. As no, a rap, I mean, I'm not a big rap fan, but I love Nicki she's Minaj. the exception. The I Pink think. Print is definitely like it's in its entirety nice. is one of the best albums in like, you know, like sometimes albums you're like, oh, I like one or two songs, but there's yeah, that but her has like a whole is that one the whole the whole thing of it so beautiful. She has actually a documentary about it on MTV. They, I think it was filmed in two parts. It it was really good about her life about you know it, kind of about how how her life was when she was making it, making the album and everything, and all of everything that was kind of inspired into it. Um, Adele, also, her album 25 is definitely also one of those albums, which mm-hmm. I could listen to in its entirety and love it all. So uh, Adele's also up there, rocking it out, girl power. You know, Marina and the Diamonds, <gasps> yes. Oh, okay, that's my, that's my number one. Definitely number it. one. She's so my number one. Listen to any of her I songs. I say we play one of them next. Yes. Honestly, you will be empowered and you will feel every word that she is saying. <laughs> I love her. 